Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory Sunday Long Play. More Dead Cells. Um, last time we got further in the string of levels we hadn't yet visited. Um, tonight hopefully will be more of that, and perhaps even further than that. Uh, I was thinking about something the other night, in fact, uh, about getting to that one spot what which had the uh, the lava and the door in the middle and I just always recall that I um, consistently forget that we have an ability to uh, detach our heads <laughs> so uh, we're gonna try and, and go visit that spot that um, I'm also gonna change out of these cultist robes because you know what I'm a fan of the classics I'm a fan of the classics and also I hope uh, I hope we don't need the cultist uh, thing to get through that one door in one of the areas. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Hey, Firetron. How you doing? Good to see ya. Quickly, is the first run gonna be? I don't know, last time the first run was pretty solid. Um, but given that we're starting with the Cursed Sword, this one's probably not gonna be great. <laughs> probably not gonna be great. Um, but... I have a feeling that we can't... Hmm? Crime on the ceiling with this? No. Oh, well, okay, good. Okay, so now we can't. Oh, 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 okay. Could have been right there. Okay. Feeling. There, there we go. See, that's what we're supposed to do. That's all we're supposed to do here. Let's open the door like that. And now. Now we can get across, no problem. See, easy. Oh, what's this, though? A cavern key. Huh. Alright, all very good. I, I don't know what that is, but it's it'll be helpful, I guess. It'll be helpful. Okay. Okay. So now we do have to be mindful that this is Oko now. <laughs> but, given that we know that... Um, we are clean and clear just to take every little curse thing we can, and it's literally free, so whatever. Let, let's go. Let's, let's go. Let's make things happen. Of course we're gonna do our level best not to get hit. Um, but hey, y you know what? Th sh should happen sometimes. Should happen. Uh, let's lean into red since we got a big old red sword. And of course, it does not preclude uh, eventually swapping off of this should we survive long enough to do so, right? So we'll do like the first you know, level, two levels maybe, and then we'll find a safer weapon. Oh damn, there's either two or three of them stacked up there that I did not see the ladder of, so... Luckily, the Cursed Sword is fast enough where you can just essentially murder everything before it gets a chance to get a shot off, usually. And it does enough damage where, you know, everything else. Uh, okay, so knockback shield instead of green, it's purple. Um, blocking attacks, knock enemies back, yada 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 yada, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I guess so, why not? Really, not really much advantage or, di oh! There's an extra thing there. <laughs> I thought I was just going back through the thing. All right, you know what? Fuck, fuck it. Let's go. Challenge. We're here for a challenge. This is also probably going to be a movement challenge, so uh, we are probably mm, going to eat shit. If we're going to eat shit early in the run, it's going to be here because yeah. All right. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. All right. Everything's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. Oh no! Why? Why did you jump? Ah oh, no! Why did it jump off the wall? I just wanted to jump up to the fucking corner. Ah, ball sack. 
Well, there goes that run. <laughs> Fucking hell. I just wanted to jump up and get the thing, but it didn't, didn't do that for us that time. Hey, Omega Weapon, how you doing? Good to see you. All right, so do we need to regather that cavern key? Since we uh, don't have it anymore, I guess we do. What do we get again? Oh, Pyrotechnics is a, is a strong start as well. Um, do we need to unlock the door again, or is that permanently unlocked? Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. okay. There we go. Which almost makes me think that this, uh, this cavern key is perhaps usable nearly immediately somewhere. But I don't know, I don't remember. That's the problem here. There's so many different things. There's, uh, there's a... Isn't there a thing further back here? I was like, oh, this looks like a thing or whatever. Well, whatever it is, we don't know what it is right now, so let's just proceed onwards. So, I'm still kind of salty about losing that Cursed Sword run there at the start. That was stupid and not my fault. Ow, what? Okay, excuse me, sir. Whatever. Well, you know what? We'll just light some shit on fire and we'll feel better. We'll feel better in short order. Uh, what are we at? Red? Yeah. since we do have a red skill, as well as a red weapon. Kind of hoping we could figure out where that cavern key led us to. But if we can't, we know the uh, path to the other newish area that we want to head to anyway, so I think it's going to be sewers, corrupted prison ramparts, something like that, right? Damn, better pyrotechnics. Uh, well, we got the money for it, why not? Really lean into the fire. Curse sword going, we would have grabbed those without a second thought, really. And this will 
would probably lead to the Arboretum by virtue of process of elimination. Okay, I think we want to hit sewers first. <clears throat> At least I know sewers is a consistent path to where we want to end eventually end up being. Reduced by blah blah blah. Oh, we get two extra jumps for now. Uh, all right, let's just grab a, a second skill that we can panic toss out if things get gnarly. Uh, is there anything we're really working on here? Cocoon, I guess. Carries all around you, dealing 30 damage. A something 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 resets the cooldown, and you can see it. Oh, oh, it's a, it's a skill. It's a skill. Okay. Uh, hmm. Successful parry resets the cooldown. Oh, I see. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, sure. Let's give it a go. Give it a try. This is one of them double damage things the way it is, so that's great. It's good for us. Uh, I think we're almost always going to start off with like a, a very basic but very helpful one. Hell yeah. No mercy. Really need that one, so an extra three grand, and off we go. So, all right, what I want to want to. Okay, so that did parry, and then it did did that. Okay, that's pretty potent. Okay, I might like this thing. on account of the, the instant reset on successful parry. Pretty nice. I guess it does give us uh, an alternative if we wanted to get rid of our shield eventually, right? Gives us an alternative way to parry stuff. already because we're super good. Okay, plus the the parry timing on that it seems pretty gosh dang generous. Probably more generous than the standard shield would. Oh well I didn't even not all of those dudes got died there. Well okay we might be a little bit too late here then for uh, for the 60 kill now. That's unfortunate. Diving plants done. Oh, it's a toxic cloud. Blah blah. Sure. There's still a lot of sewers left to go, so we could very well get 55 more kills here. Mushroom Boy, too. Hell yeah. Okay. So what do we got? We got a pretty good mix, so now it's between... Red and green are the two upgrades we're gonna wanna do. Oil bomb, no thanks. <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, took a hit pretty early on. We had already gotten the 30 kill count there, which what initially made me kind of worried we wouldn't hit the 60 now. But, usually there's a lot of tiny shitheads in the sewers, so it might be. We might yet be okay. Better 
shield. Better rampart shield. A 4-L. Not that that's terribly exciting since we're probably not going to be... Oh, but now that uh, transforms it to a red. That's, that's kind of alright. What was the other things on it? Freezes enemies blocked with the parry, which I think our cocoon already does. Well, no. They freeze when they die. Okay. Well, still. Not bad. That goes to the corrupted person, which I think we want to go to. <laughs> I know, I know, but you know, nothing gets the nothing gets the blood pumping like a good old last frame parry, right? But come on, you gotta gotta live a little. Uh bonus cover, no thanks. I suppose it doesn't help that we're also taking and dealing double damage, right? That's the thing. What's that little symbol over on that side? Oh, is it just for a fall through? Okay. That goes to the ancient sewers. Okay. That other dude left there. Good thing we ran away. All right, silly like that. There's the, there's the 60. Well, good thing we got it there because we took an immediate pop right after. Good job. Either one doesn't really matter. Just take the free, free buckos from it, I guess. Oh, this is gonna be down here. The other, other, other exit. This is gonna go directly to ramparts, maybe. Yeah, that is a very large window to parry stuff. Oops, I went to the ramparts instead of back to um, the cursed or corrupted prison or whatever. Uh, I hope that's still alright. I hope that still gets us to where we need to go. Uh, honestly, I'm good with the setup we have with our, with our little add-ons there, Mushroom Boy and our exceedingly generous Perry Cocoon thing. The tactics are wrong because Waluigi is purple and tactics are purple. I, okay, you know what? I can follow that logic. That's a not unreasonable line of logic to, to have. Alright, but since we are doing double damage and double everything else, I think we're going to go with Necromancy now. Just to get our stuff 
kind of back up into acceptable range. So actually, I'm curious then. Uh, all right, so additional green will not affect the maximum that we can get back up to with Necro, I don't think. Which is unfortunate, but we've also got Mushroom Boy on green, so more green is more better, too. So we need to come to Ramparts right away when we hit Corrupted Prison before this, but I'm sure it's fine. Okay, it still caught something there, which is funny. <laughs> I kind of flubbed the, flubbed the hit on that. But it still had a long enough, long enough active window to get the parry off of something entirely different. Oh, he little shit. Boy headed off to there. It's like wondering I wasn't here's cries of death there. It takes a little bit longer to appear than a normal shield does. Unfortunate. Big ass grenade is tempting, but again, this this combo we got going on is pretty nice. If we can maybe get an alternative weapon in our Y slot, that might go a little bit further for us, considering, right? So we're now hardly using the normal shield. We can get like a good explodey crossbow in our Y slot. Then shit would start popping off. Did we already we were already in there?
quite understood what the face flask is meant to be used for yet. the parry with the cocoon it's like a 12 second cooldown looks like all right very good oh yes. well he's dead <laughs> Level up. Looks like we're gonna miss the 60 this time because I fucked up too late in the game here. go eventually anyways which we might as well just do now because I'm not going back all the way back up for that one little idiot alright as far as what our final mutation is going to be hey Valley Cheese how you doing good to see you can't hang around, we want to sing by, swing by and say good luck with the runs. Thank you. That's very thoughtful of you, regardless. Good to see you, no matter how uh, shortly or longly you can stick around, of course. Um, Alright. Second of being wounded. Next melee attack after using a skill. We don't have any melee attacks, do we? Porky Pack is always fun. If we had a secondary melee weapon to throw in the backpack. Uh, attack following a successful parry. Alright, um, does that count if we achieve a parry with our cocoon thing? I wonder. We'll try it out. We'll try it out. We'll try it out, uh, which actually now would be a good time to try it out since we're fighting a little boss. A little tiny boss. Oh, see, I was trying to do the cocoon parry there, and I just 
fucked up. see the okay I guess that's still counted as as a parryable thing for our parry damage boost I guess right okay oh, well, he's dead all right so we took one or two dumb bops there I didn't really count but Unfortunate, regardless. Oh, and we got a better Mushroom Boy? <laughs> we do, after we bump him up to S. Um, victims run away to die, plus 60% to bleeding. Alright, yeah, sure. Torch 4, we may as well just slap that in the backpack for now. Yeah, I haven't done a, a, a two-boss uh, stem cell run yet either, hence why we're still stuck on two. <laughs> uh, um, what's the executed text? Executed comes from one of the mutations we grabbed, which uh, auto-kills an enemy once it reaches 15% of its health. Or below. Which is quite nice. Alright, so everything is going to be double plus, and then... Oh man, everything will be of S. Okay. Very good. Um, uh, so now we can do bonk. We're not gonna bother upping the torch that's in our backpack, because torches are kinda eh. Keep them going with our full health flasks. We haven't quite had a uh, slumbering sink right now, but haven't quite had the dire need to use a health flask during an actual level, which is nice doing enough of a good that way. Fractured sh Yeah, okay, Fractured Shrine is the one we wanted to be at. And this was the one we had to open up with the cultist outfit, right? I'm hoping that we don't need to keep that on. But I guess we'll find out, won't we? Oh! <laughs> ah! Ah! Well. <laughs> Teleporting around like a little coward. Come here, shithead. Bite to eat there, which is actually kind of ill timed because now I'm hungry. <laughs> now I'm kind of hungry. Alright, I'm surprised our level 3 pyrotechnics is still kind of doing the job as far as. Uh, As far as murdering something in one salvo is concerned. Ah, let's go. <laughs> let's go. What do we got? Ah, it's a whip. I think a whip counts as a melee whip. Ah, but it doesn't really matter, actually. I guess we'll take it. Yeah, we could do this instead of the shield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, this is great. This is good. This is very good. Come on. No, how could you... How dare you say we're going to die to a log tarp? Like, why would you... Why would you even... Why would you even say such a thing? Come on, man. <laughs> All right, so now we've got... Oh, it's an electric quip, apparently. Uh, oh, it is, yeah. All right, that's not the one I thought it was. But all right, we'll 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 make it work, we'll make it work. Okay. 
Oh, excuse me, sir. Okay, out there. Make sure we're doing the right thing here. I don't want to leave anybody behind, because that honestly, that, that four curse is still uh, a little concerned. Oh, see ya. <laughs> Okay, so there's a log tarp there that I don't want to invoke. Cool, okay. Okay, excellent, excellent. All right, we'll just leave that one there. <laughs> it's fine, everything's fine. Okay, we should be clear, very good. All right, things are less troublesome now. Ah, yeah, the Valmonts were... I think that's the one I was thinking that this one was. Because I think that's the one where you get the crits at a at a very specific range, right? Yeah, 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 yep. That's the one I was hoping it was, in fact. Oh, little shit. I'm wasting my parry there. That's got a pretty quick triple little tap there, huh? Ow! Ooh. Okay, that does count as a parry, though. That's nice. I love that our mushroom dude is just bodying things off ledges left and right. It's the best. Oh, a katana is pretty fucking tempting as well. That might even be a better up for the uh, for the whip. Sad to say, but yeah, I guess I, guess I kind of have to at this point. So the whip had a had a very brief go. <laughs> But no, now is the time. Now is the time for the katana. Oh, or Hakutha's bow. We haven't haven't tried this one yet, but it's only got two ammo. Oh wait, no, that's the shitty one. Never mind. <laughs> no, so we tried Hakuta's bow right when we uh, unlocked it, right? And it was not super good. Corrupted power we've never used. But I think we're gonna stick with. Uh, Pyro and Katana, and just slice and dice. Also makes Julian fries. Ah. Uh. Oh, what? He's still within range there, huh, buddy? <laughs> Nuts. Oh, and he was just out of range. Oh, hello, there was a log tarp there. <laughs> Dude, that one I genuinely did not see. I didn't see this one there. Yep, bonk. Bonk, okay. Excellent. Now we're talking here. Now we're talking, okay. Whew, now we're talking. Oh, that's so satisfying. Get him right in the line. Fucking excellent. Yeah, that's true. That bow is probably uh, more of a paired thing with uh, something else. Okay, I think we're. Okay, we got two more corners to invest a max here. Oh! 
Excuse me. Well, at least it bodied me over to the uh, the next platform. Ah, oh, that was kind of stupid. <laughs> Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, he's got some reach. <sighs> yeah, I do like the acrobat attack. That, that, that's kind of a... A neat little thing, right? Okay, and then this just tells us about the whole thing of whatever, you gotta go over here and you gotta wear the right thing or, or something, right? You know what? I'm getting a little bit worried about our 300 health. <laughs> a little bit worried about that. Oh, excuse me. See ya. <laughs> Essentially, we're just going to be looking for upgraded katana, upgraded pyrotechnics, and then the rest will just kind of hang out. <laughs> upgraded mushroom boys, upgraded cocoon. Ow! Alright, see you, Valiant Cheese. Thanks for stopping by. I doubt we'll uh, get to three boss cells on this run, but hey, appreciate the vote of confidence. We were, oh, there's another section up there somehow? With enemies in it? That seems weird. How the how the balls would you even get up there? Yeah, there's definitely not a Oh! Oh wait, huh? Oh, oh, oh I see. Ah! <laughs> That's wild, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I 
That's wild. I love it. Ow! Little shit. Ow! <laughs> hey, you old bastards. Okay, so what are we gonna find up here in this weirdo secret zone thing? Uh, hmm. Hell yeah, weird talking sword! <laughs> Smell like rotting flesh and bloodlust and a lack of respect for life. Oh, okay, I was, I was hoping he was gonna go, ah! <laughs> uh, that's funny. Oh, okay, so he's another... Huh. Oh, another little familiar thing, huh? Summons a flying sword that will mark enemies, trigger it again to inflict critical hits on them while holding the weapon. And vice versa. Sword will vanish after 30 seconds if you don't hit the marked enemies. Hey, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. I guess we'll give it a try. Um, and at the very least, oh, can I not? Can I not carry skills in the backpack? Is that only for weapons? I guess it's only for weapons. All right. I guess we'll give it a try. Perhaps won't be as <clears throat> actively useful as Mushroom Boy was, but uh, we'll see, I guess. Uh, no, not the clock tower. We want to go to the other spot. Right. Okay, good. They just stand aside immediately. Good. Good. Okay. Here we are. Oh, and it's a thing we can uh, now unlock for later. Good, that's cool. So it's a it's a slightly better one then. <laughs> uh, except so let's see what we got: poisons, colorless, plus forty percent electrified. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's neat. Wait, was it Mushroom Boy or was it uh, the Cocoon that was the double damage thing? I think it was the Cocoon, right? So we still got that? Eel... No, we do not. It was the it was Mushroom Boy. Damn, that stinks. Ow. Ow, hey! Shits. Whoop. Ow! Fuck! Ow! Oh! Um... Oh... Oh... Okay. <laughs> okay. Ah, damn it. We didn't even use the weird sword familiar thing. Ugh. Wow. Alright. Oops. Big oops on that one. Let's see if we can find where this, uh, uh, up an axe, I guess. Let's grab the, uh, the cavern key and see what we need to do for this now. Oh, well, good job. Oh, son of a... It's anywhere around here, right? It's not anywhere in this very beginning area. Uh, 
so I'm wondering if it's maybe through the promenade or through, uh... Not, probably not through the Arboretum, because I think that's a separate content pack the way it is. Jesus, right, this fucking huge axe. <laughs> Huge-ass axe that takes a million years to wind up. I don't know if I like this axe. This, I mean, it's, it's great. It's a big fuck-off axe, but uh, it might be a bit too big for our, uh, for our liking. Wait, what's the what's the crit deal with this one? Repeat the last hit combo to inflict critical. I don't know what that means. I guess it's okay if we can manage a stun on them before we start winding up, right? Like, then it's fine. It does have quite the wind-up range to it, too. Kind of undecided about this axe being good. It's no what's nuts, the, the flint thing, right? That causes the shockwave? That would be fun. That's a fun one to have. Yeah, there's not many weapons that can claim a triple kill in one swing, so... You know what? We'll give this its, its due go here. Oh, well. Well. <laughs> Very good. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Alright, that's fine. You know what? We're gonna... If we're gonna bin a run, we may as well just bin it extremely early. And we're not gonna bother with the cavern key. Oh, okay, now we're talking. <laughs> now we're talking. You know what, all right, let's grab the cavern key then. Just in case we find where it goes. for the vines. I thought that was a little teleporty deal.
there. Alright, let's go through the Arboretum. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> I know he's got a very wide swing. Wait, what? Excuse me? Those two were right next to each other. They should have been parried together. Okay, I... I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that one. Okay, whatever. It's fine, I guess. Mm, okay, machete and pistol, sure. Uh, can we... Alright, hold on a second. Let's take this in the backpack for now. Which I guess I could have been doing all along, right? It's two normal things and the backpack thing, I've just been... Yeah, I'm an idiot. <laughs> ah, I suppose we should grab this just in case. Figure out what it is. Eventually. The sword slash and then bonk, or it's two sword slashes, then a bonk, or then a pistol shot, right? Ow! Hey, motherfucker! Yeah, there we go. Huh. Total misdirect. I love it. <laughs> Good old katana down there, though. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Um, yeah, all right. We'll, we'll do something a little bit more traditional, shall we say. <laughs> traditional. Oh, we got a lot of purples now. That doesn't feel great. <laughs> that doesn't feel great. We got more more purples and reds up in here. Oh, what? That wasn't even close to me. Fuck you, man. I was like a mile away from him, and his little fucking melee got, got me somehow. Hmm. Little shit. Spike boots. Fucking gross. are that great either, but I think they at least cause bleeding, right? Okay, that's something. It's not much, but it's something. Oh, shit. Ow. Yeah, 
lives are kind of eh. Aha! Good. <laughs> now, we've got something better. Oh. Inauspicious start here. Oh! God, that's why I don't like the slow effects. They throw off the timing of everything. Ow! Hey! You little shit. Ugh. Fuck you. Uh, that's right, that run was not off to a great start anyways. So I don't feel all that bad about it. Super great weapon start there, either. What we got in there? Is that? That's in there. Oh, okay. are kind of meh, but doing an okay job at the start. Uh, we've got an even mix of everything. Gross. Should get the 30 kill, no problem. Assuming no other dumb bops occur. Another shield over there, I completely missed. Lucky ass drop from something. Oh, it's just that. Yeah, no. it's not really worth going for there. Assault shield, on the other hand. Oh, I do kind of like the spike shield. It does super good damage on a normal ass parry. Oh, jeez. Ow! Ah, oh, you little fucker. Get him! Thank you. Crap. Alright, now we're probably not gonna make the 30 here. There's the promenade already. Oh, all right. It's right next to each other. Yeah. Yeah, nope. Uh, all right. Well, maybe the cavern key gets used in the promenade somewhere. We can give that a go. Since we know we don't need to 
necessarily take toxic sewers out of here to get where we want to go. Now it's just cosmetic. We may as well just save for the forge later on. All right, let's start off with a standard ass combo, I guess. Always helpful. Probably get the uh, <clears throat> no mercy thing later, and then perhaps acrobatic pack since we do have uh, one bow, one parentheses one bow in our backpack. Oh, we've got double damage going on too. From what though? From what and why exactly? Oh, our mushroom boy is doing the double damage thing. Okay. That's alright. Okay. Yeah, very good. I don't know if I like these twin twin daggers, right? Yeah, it's too short range. Even for a melee weapon, that's saying something. Wait, no, I think I know where the cavern key goes. It's in one of the... Ouch! It's in one of the, um... The other areas we had come across... Not last time, but I think the time before. There was a weird little slot thing that looked like a diamond. But I don't remember which one it was now. I might just look that up for next time. Uh, Firebrands, Bloodthirsty Shield. Thirsty Shield. Well, to figure out which area that is, that might have gone through the Arboretum, then. That's kinda okay. Ow! Fucking... Definitely don't like these twin daggers. <laughs> get a, a better melee weapon, we will. Ah, uh, salt shield and light speed. Light speed is pretty nice. Better than phaser, to be sure. Now we've got just a weirdo mix of everything. Never used corrupted power before, but it's, I think it's relatively low power. That's one of those ones like the other bow thing that was like, hey, use this with something else, otherwise it's Garbo. Katana and light speed, right? Like a katana at this point would be mm, mm, really good, but I'm just gonna have to rely on a little bit of luck to see that, I suppose. I figured I was going to be slow on the draw there. Ugh, fuck. 
All right, whatever, it's fine. Not too disappointed in losing that run. It's not a... Uh, not gear we were comfortable using, for the most part. Okay, I'm not gonna bother getting the cavern key since I <laughs> Since I know... I know where, uh... Well, I mostly know where it's supposed to be used, but that's not where we're headed, so... Then, uh, how do I? No, not that. This? There we go. Okay. Cocoon, I do like. I like Cocoon a lot. Nice. Oh, excuse me, buddy. So that gets us our, uh, our parry ability without using a, a weapon slot for a shield. Which is fucking great. You know, despite the fact that it, it does uh, occupy a little skill item slot or whatever, which, let's be honest, I don't use those nearly as much as I should be. secret down there that we didn't grab is just money, but money is money. Money be money. That was more dangerous than it needed to be. <laughs> but it was fun. Woo! Hoofa, hoofa, hoofa. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. Oh, it's a. Oh, it's a skill. I thought it was a, a usable weapon. All right, so what does this do now? Adds damage with each attack. You take plus 30% damage during this time. Well, all right. <laughs> all right, well, I mean, that's kind of an easy call at this point. Since uh, any, any hit is gonna be a death blow anyways, right? <laughs> Look, can you blame me? Like, if it's fun, of course we're gonna do it. That's why we're doing this whole cursed sword business. <laughs> because it's fun. I defy you to tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> For example. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'll take that to the corrupted power. <laughs> oh wow, those are 50 at a crack, huh? Alright, so, alright, we got 100 kills. 100 kills, that's fine. <laughs> Even if we give up the curse sword, we still gotta do 100 kills. Alright, where are we headed? Where are we headed? Uh, promenade, I guess? Did we grab the... No, we're more familiar with sewers at this point, right? So let's go sewers. 
Well, there's a good chance there's not even 100 enemies in the sewers. Wait, how the fuck did I... Oh, I didn't even go up there. Alright, well, let's get a start on this, huh? Although I... Uh, what the... Uh, right. Although I think with the Cursed Sword, we're not going to be able to use the Hunter's Grenade very much. Since we're, uh... Gonna be dealing pretty lethal damage most times. And these dudes don't really have a thing that we care about, anyways. Mm, uh. Hold on, glass cannon and everything is not new. Yeah, you know, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Can I help it that it's just so fun? Like, the best defense is an impenetrable instant kill offense. I will stand by that. Trades up a purple to a red. It's all outfit crap. I'm not even gonna bother wasting our our cells on this shit. Uh, and I guess since most of our strikes get them pretty low, even without uh, a follow up. That extra 15% edge is what we need. <laughs> like so. <laughs> oh, we can use the uh, grenade on these fuckers, huh? Bonk. Oh, wait, but we need to use the thing now, right? Too much HP. There we go. What do we get? A Spite Sword. Is that better than the Cursed Sword? Probably not. But it sounds fun. I don't think I can do this yet. If, by some miracle, we get all the way through the sewers here and kill enough shit to lift the curse, then we're coming back for it. Because we still got, what, 80 some? 79. Still got 79 things we gotta kill before that uh, becomes a viable option. So, alright, alright, okay, we've got something to look forward to. We've got something to look forward to. Excuse me. Something to fight for, right? I have a feeling that we might not find another 68 enemies here, but even so. Thank <laughs> you. 
dude. On an entirely different plane of existence? Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. 60 kill. 35 to go. Oh, uh, maybe we might still make this. That would be something. That would be something, wouldn't it? Oh, we probably should just pick that up. Oops. Oopsie doopsie. Oh, there's a light speed thing down there too. Alright, even better, actually. Alright, we're gonna take the movement a bit more carefully here because uh, even the even the toxic sludge will insta-kill us. Oh, I'm just retreading ground now. So I don't want to <clears throat> just blindly ground pound myself right into it. I guess I was panic tapping too many buttons there, and it didn't do what I wanted it to do. Fire blast. Uh, uh, blast. Well, damn it. We were we were pretty close though. Like that might have been one of our closest shades with a full hundo and still making it work. That we've ever had. Alright, Fire Blast is pretty alright, huh? Oh! Oh, okay, excuse me. Personal space. Shithead. Damn, and then we lost that other blueprint thing too, which sucks. Better shield's a better shield, right? <laughs> and ten, 10 enemies we can do. Easy peasy. Like, we could do that blindfolded if we really wanted to. No problem. Or we can just 
die immediately. <laughs> uh, ha ha ha. We get a double crit on this, right? Second and third hits a crit. That's nice. Not quite as slow as the oven axe is, but just as effective it seems. Seems like it freezes enemies just straight up, huh? They can slow down all nearby enemies when they die. Okay. I suppose. It's all greens and purples. That's bizarre. But okay. Fuck it, let's take the 30 kill and the time bonus and go. I'll get something actually useful out of this. This one. Eh, yeah, well, better grenades. So we'll upgrade our grenades. It's the only non level one thing we got. Melee attacks slow down enemies. Alright, so we've already got that by the broadsword, anyways. Melee attacks is worth a small amount of HP depending on attack damage as long as you have an active speed buff. Okay, that doesn't have a limited to 50% of max health thing to it, like the Necro does. That might be more helpful in the future. Melee attacks inflict bleeding. Okay. Like me, just a straight up bleeding debuff. I do like that you get a, a very generous amount of time for the second and third strikes to count. Makes the broadsword an actual tenable weapon here. Oh, what? 
Okay, I don't agree with that one, but all right, whatever, I guess. Dirty picking purple over red. But you gotta go with the current equips you got, I guess. Make it actually useful. Symmetrical Lance. It's a level 5. Critical hits for 6 seconds if you quickly kill 2 enemies with this weapon. I, mean, I suppose. Well, wow, let's go. Now it just straight up does crits for 6 seconds. That's sick as hell. I like that. <laughs> Long fall. What do we got there? Phaser. Ugh, gross. I can at least uh, soothe myself with the with leaning into green instead. The majority of our shit is green. Sixty, and I fucked it up. All right, there's there's the exit we want to take. It's a corrupted prison. We have more shit for it, right? What's the time box on that second level? Oh, they don't give you one. At least for this passage here. Uh, alright, so we picked up some cool shit now. Spend the money on it, and then go for our... Actually, what do we have in our pack? A bow. Uh, acrobatic pack, right? Because that one, after you dodge, you fire a thingamading, right? Let's see. Which one is it? It's a tactics one, which is kind of ugh, but what are you going to do? Attacking with a ranged weapon after rolling... Oh! After rolling with a ranged weapon in your... Oh, okay. 
That's two ranged weapons, but we don't have two ranged weapons. Alright, never mind. Then we'll do standard no mercy. <laughs> Something better than this, uh, this dual whatever symmetrical lance. It just doesn't appear that it dropped something like that. Ice bow. <laughs> I guess we'll take it instead of the other thing. <laughs> Hardly what I would call worthwhile, though. Take no guff from no one. Now, what did I get by there? Weird. Cosmetic stuff. Uh, no, the grenade is tempting. Ow, fucker. Such a wide fucking AoE. Ow, stop it! Ugh. In that entire section, I guess just a bunch of bunch of cells. And that's it. Uh, I guess this one three plus. No, <laughs> never mind. Free money it is. Ancient sewers, or we can just bop out to the ramparts, right? Hell yeah. Fuck the ancient sewers. Not really digging the symmetrical lance that much, so if we get a a good um, replacement for it would be great. Actually, now the uh, what's the one frenzy, right? Yeah. 
Health restoration just by murdering shit quickly seems good to me. Because we do, we do do a lot of very rapid murders. Like so. Well, it only seems to be doing, like, one health per, but I guess you don't want it to be too strong. They take plus 30. Yeah, no, sure. let's, let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Damage boost when most needed. <laughs> Drop quite that far.
Oh, 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 oh. oh, pyrotechnics would be a great fucking choice here. Pyrotechnics 5. Critical hits deal plus 20%. Percent damage to your max HP. Victims remain explode. Remains explode. That's pretty good. Shots pierce the first target. Also very good. Oh boy. I'll take this one. And oh, I probably should have shoved that in the backpack instead of the ice bow. Alright, so now now it's leaning to red. <laughs> Despite the fact that we've been leaning into green this entire time. That's okay, that's okay. We can adapt back to pyrotechnics instead of. First shot penetrating really is awesome too. Oh, well. Ah, oh, really? Shit, yes. <laughs> Not the best ramparts we've ever had, but Too many hits going on there. Uh, we have the denial, the mox bow, and the rest is kind of garbage. Mm. Not exactly what we're going for, but it'll work, I guess. Just 
Jeez, it's not even enough to get up to one little percentage, huh? 500 at a crack. Is that going to be 20% jumps? Or they, oh, they wouldn't put 100% S out there, would they? Would be something if they did, but I don't think that's the case. job. <laughs> Alright. Something even better? Ah, that's a shame. That's a big damn shame, isn't it? Free upgrade, though. I can take it. Here, aha, oh, it's a hard light sword. Damn, I thought it was a katana. Because that would have been a worthy trade up, too. Oh, look at that DPS, though. <laughs> Foofa. Ah, it's just a big damn shame. I can't really. If it weren't like a double slot one, I would probably go for it, but... starting to become a fan of the Corrupted Power at this point, because damage boost equals excellence.
Ooh, boy. No. Oh, what? Ah. with how that worked out. Eventually, once we clean this area out, hmm. oh, we went a little bit not far enough here. So that would free up our shield slot. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll get rid of the corrupted power for now. So I like that 30% boost. It's probably more dangerous than it's worth. <laughs> Damn it. 
we're gonna get bodied by at least one of those. Does this one give us a cursed chest right away too? Rightly recall, I think it does. In which case, hell yeah. Pyrotechnics are looking a little bit soggy here now. Too far.
Oh, okay. Excuse me. Damn, damn. Cost us a lot of resources to fight those fuckers.
boat, you say? Well, okay. <laughs> Heal. Make it count. One, one little smackeroonie and we're probably dead. That's right. Let's get to the mausoleum before we eat shit here. Uh, what a waste. how we're gonna get past this, but I'd be alright with being pleasantly surprised. Oh, that's not the right one. <laughs> Ow, what the... Oh, you little shit. Oh, come on! Well, um, excuse me. Whoa, she's... Uh, okay. Ah, uh, yeah, there's no way. Like, fucking... I don't know the patterns well enough to do anything effective there. Oof, uh, well, I'm glad I spent those cells, despite the fact that it was on cosmetic shit and not actually useful. Um, uh, but alright, it's getting kinda late. Let's call it there. <laughs> Let's call it there for this evening. We'll resume next week. And maybe play a little bit in the interim to get another boss cell and or look at some new shit too. Um, but that'll do it for tonight. Next stream will be tomorrow night, 7 p.m. CST. We've got one final Cogmind run to finish off. We'll see how far we can take that tomorrow. Depending on how that goes, uh, Cogmind may as well be up for Wednesday, 7 p.m. CST. Um, 
But if we do lose that run pretty early tomorrow, we're gonna, we're gonna start something new on Wednesday. Um, and then Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. CST will be Schmuck Book Club. Our final chance at G Darius and Giga Wing. Um, Soikyo Gorontai is still going for another month, so we're good there. Friday we're off. Saturday. Finally, this Saturday we won't be off doing other shit, so we'll see if we decide to spin up a grab bag then. Otherwise, next Sunday, 7 p.m. CST will be long play. Back to that cells here. Oh boy. This is a fun game. I just, you just get so far and then you just get smacked up because you don't have the right stuff. But that's all right. That's, right. that's right. That'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.